June favorites. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I do upload two new videos every week, every Wednesday and Friday, so I hope you will hit that subscribe button so you get the notifications and you don't miss out on anything new. Okay, so June favorites. There are a lot of them. I'm gonna go by category and just sort of dive right in and get to it. First category is clothing. I wanna feature a couple tops and a pair of jeans. The first top I wanna to talk about is something you all loved from one of my recent videos. And it's an eyelet top. It's by a line called Endless Rose, which is a fairly affordable line, usually from Shopbop. And this is just a fresh, pretty, feminine, lightweight summer top that will go with everything. And I feel like you need to have a few of those in your closet for the summertime. And usually you have to replenish them every year because the whites never stay white. So that's just something to think about too. Also white doesn't absorb the heat, so that's why it's so perfect for summer. And it's just such a fresh, lovely color for summer. So I really love to have a few go-to white tops for summer. So the next top I wanted to talk about is a silky cami style top. It's more of like a shell with a twist. It's silky, it's by Amanda Uprichard, and I'm not sure if that's how you say her last name, but I really, really, really love it. I feel like it has so much versatility. You could wear it under things. You can wear it alone. It looks good with jean shorts. It looks good with jeans, pants, skirts, and it's basic black, but it has asymmetrical straps across the shoulder and chest. So it has a little bit more edge and sex appeal than just like any other black shell. It, it definitely has that, that kind of edgy cool factor. So I just love the top. You know, it is a silky fabric or a finer fabric, so you do have to consider that because it does require a little bit more care. Don't ever dry these kinds of tops. You always wanna air dry them or lay them flat to dry. And if you're gonna wash them, hand wash them or do gentle cycle, cold, gentle detergent. Dry cleaning is always an option, but with my whites, I don't ever dry clean because I feel like they come back looking more yellowed. I know it's such a bummer, like the white, I just wish it would stay bright white, but it, even if you take really good care of it, um, it's still likely going to yellow year to year. So it's just a good idea to kind of add a couple new ones each season so that you have some really bright white fresh ones. I wanna talk about the Express t-shirts. I ordered a bunch of them. So here's one that is a purple color and you see how it has all these cool like strap details in the front to make it a little bit extra unique. And then it's a real like oversized dolman style sleeve. I just was kind of impressed with the quality of their t-shirts and also the design. So if you're looking for a cool t-shirt, something a little extra different, you know, they're just, they have cutouts on the shoulders, they'll have strappy detailing, just different and unique t-shirts. So if you're living in t-shirts already, this is a great place to go and stock up on t-shirts that are not going to break the bank. And I have been wearing mine a bunch. And I also have a camo one that I showed you on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you may wanna follow me because I do post pieces that I get and styling ideas before I post them anywhere else. So just a good idea if you wanna kind of get a jump on things. It takes me a little bit longer to get them up here on YouTube or up on the blog. I'm at Busby Style on Instagram. The next thing I wanna talk about are my new Good American Jeans. And if you're a long time viewer, you'll remember, I've talked about this brand before. You can get them in a couple different places, but I usually buy them at Nordstrom. It's a line created by Khloe Kardashian, and she designed the line for curvy women. I wouldn't consider myself a super curvy woman, but I still love her jeans. <laughs> they are, this kind of perfect mixture of stretchy and soft fabric, but the fabric doesn't stay stretched out. Like in other words, it retains its shape. So if you wear it in the morning, you know it's gonna still look as great as it did um, in the evening or the next time you wear it or the next time you wear it. But it's super soft and again, really stretchy. And so when I'm looking for a pair in that line, I look for crops because I'm petite-ish. I'm 5'4", and so I know that if I get the cropped pair, I don't have to worry about hemming the jean because some of, some jeans do run quite long. But I love this pair because it had this little split seam at the bottom, very subtle, but fun. Great way to frame a shoe, just a little extra something 
to make the jeans stand out. And then they're very high rise, which you guys know I love. And a little bit of distressing, not crazy. These do run quite large and I would size down one full size. So if you want just really soft, comfortable jeans that look great, that feel great, on your skin that are flattering, that are modern. These are a great go-to and I like to travel in them again because they're so soft and stretchy and I don't feel like, you know with that rigid denim, it just sort of cuts into your stomach when you're sitting down. Like this doesn't do that at all. It feels almost like, more like sweatpants. The next thing I wanted to show you or talk about is my Eddie Borgo safety choker. I wore it in my last two videos. A lot of you made comments wanting to know where I got the necklace. It's a necklace that I also wore to my blogger conference last year, not this year, but last year, and I had used a jewelry rental service. So I liked it so much I wore it all the time during the conference. And then when I saw it go on sale at, on Chopop, I scooped it up right away because I already knew what the quality was like, I already knew that I loved it, I already knew that I was gonna wear it a lot, it was versatile. So it is on sale, they just sold out of the gold, but I think there's some rose gold left. So I'll put a link to that below if you are interested in something just a little funkier and more modern. And it's not over the top, you know what I mean? It's cool and modern, but not over the top. Even more subtle is this little tiny chain that I got, it's Argento Vivo. It's, again, if you're a long time viewer, you'll remember I've talked about this line before, specifically during the Nordstrom sale, I hope there is some Argento Vivo at the Nordstrom sale this year. There is none in the catalog, which I'm kind of bummed about. So this necklace, I've been wearing it pretty much every day and then just layering something else with it. It layers beautifully. And this is a great way to do a choker if you're kind of worried about drawing attention to your neck or you want something a little bit more subtle. So it's a great just everyday subtle piece. It adds a little extra something to your look to kind of dial it up a notch. There are two other jewelry purchases I made that I want to tell you guys about. I I wanted like great quality everyday pieces that I can wear every single day without fail and feel like, oh, they look really good and I feel good in them. So I bought a couple of rings that I wanted to share with you guys too. The first one is this one. This is uh, their little tiny, tiny diamond chips and gold. So it's kind of real-ish. It is real, but it's not crazy expensive. And I just think it's so elegant and beautiful. And then the second one, this is by Monica Vinader or Vinader, I don't know how you say her last name, it's V-I-N-A-D-E-R. And then this one, which is sort of the opposite end of the spectrum, but I like to mix, you know, I like to mix hard and soft. So this one I got on Etsy, and it's a jeweler in Israel. I've actually found some really amazing jewelry from Israel, like they are known for silver, but um, this is not silver, this is actually brass. And I just thought it was super cool, edgy, modern, fun, and different, something that you're not gonna find anywhere else. You're not gonna see anybody else wearing it unless you watch this video, <laughs> unless you've been Busby styled. Okay, the next thing I wanted to share with you guys that is definitely on my favorites list are these Sam Edelman sandals with the gold studs. These are in a nude color, like a skin color. I love these, you know, you've heard me talking about Sam Edelman a zillion times. I love them because they're comfortable. The sizing is consistent and the styles are very stylish and modern. And I feel like these are a great summer sandal that's also modern and a little bit more interesting. I did have another pair I showed you guys. They were gold and they're really cool as well. I happened to accidentally leave those on the beach in Mexico. <laughs> which is why I got this pair. I think of the two, I prefer this pair. I just like that it's a little bit more edgy, but you may prefer the other pair, which is a little bit more classic. They both have some nice cushion and they both have a little bit of support, so it's not a true flat flat. I normally do not like flat flat sandals because I really prefer to have a little bit of arch support, but I kind of ordered these because I loved the way they looked so much and they are a little bit more comfortable than regular flat flats because I feel like the sole is so hard that they don't bend so much. I feel like it gives you a little bit more support. They really are super cute. So it's a great alternative to a flip-flop, let's say, when you want a little bit more foot coverage or just something that looks a little bit more elegant. This is a great sandal. They're from Anthropology. The next shoe I wanna show you, so there's a whole shoe section here, <laughs> are these Vince Camuto sandals and I absolutely love these. You may recognize these from the blog or from Instagram and I featured them a bunch on both. They are just like Sam Edelman in the sense that they are very comfortable consistently, the sizing is consistent and you can always count on them to design modern shoes. I always love these little features that Vince Camuto does. Like look at these have 
a Velcro closure. It's just perfect when you're running and gunning a lot, you know, and you don't have a lot of time to get down there and buckle up your shoes. I just don't like doing it. I want like something that's super easy to get on my feet. This is that in a nutshell, and then the chunky heel makes it a little easier to walk in. The color also goes with almost anything in your closet. So you would see me on Instagram, I wore it with like white shorts, and I wore them with jeans, and I've worn them with jean shorts, and skirts, and just about anything. So it's a great versatile summer sandal when you want a little heel and a little bit of interesting style, but also so the comfort, you don't want to sacrifice the comfort. I want to throw in a quick wild card in case any of you are hikers or you live in an area where you're hiking a lot. I talked about them last year, but I just thought it was worth repeating. It's the Solomon Speed Cross 4 hiking shoe. It's a trail running shoe. They're incredibly lightweight. They're very flexible. The laces tuck into the tongue so you don't have to worry about the laces. And if you do any trail running or any hiking, this is the shoe. I'm right now, I'm sort of training for a race and I'm doing a lot of trail running and this is what I'm running in and using these. And I love that they have this incredible grip at the bottom so I don't have to worry about slipping and sliding all over the place. But even on some of these steeper facades, I don't have steeper pitches, I don't have to worry. So again, if you're a hiker, I would highly recommend these. Okay, the last category I wanted to feature for my June favorites is beauty. I wanna talk a little bit about some of the makeup products I am loving. Specifically, I wanna start with lipstick because a lot of you have asked lately about my lipstick color and I never, I'm never so bad at putting the beauty products that I use in the description box and I should do that, but it's just like one more thing. <laughs> I wanted to show you sort of my go-to nude lip since that seems to be the one that you guys are asking about the most. And the first thing I wanted to mention is that I use a lip liner. I use a MAC nude lip liner. The color is Dervish. I also did just get another color. It's called Subculture and the Subculture is more of a true nude and the Dervish has more of a pinky tone pinky nude tone. So both of them are great for lining a lip for nude lips or just lining the lip in general for any lipstick. But that's what I start with. And then I either do my Milani Matte Blissful, which is color number 62, and that's a really pretty matte pink. Or I do my Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. Sorry, it's just that that's what the name is. If I were to pick like an all time favorite day to day, everyday lipstick, it would definitely be the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. Okay, last but certainly not least, Elizabeth Arden mailed me a few products that they wanted me to try. And there are a couple of standouts that I wanted to share with you guys. The first is the eight hour cream skin protectant. And this reminds me so much of Aquaphor, but like a more glamorous upscale version of it. <laughs> I, as a mom living in the mountains with no humidity, now use a ton of these kind of balms because the kids and I both get really dry really fast. Our lips get dry and chapped, our hands get dry and chapped, our feet get dry and chapped, our skin gets dry and chapped. So this is one of those products that you can slather on like your hands or your lips when they're just in need of some real help. It doesn't have a smell. It just glides on. It's not as thick as Aquaphor. It's a really nice consistency. So I just brought that up in case you are in that same situation where you do get really dry lips or dry hands. It's just a wonderful way to kind of hydrate and moisturize and protect lips and hands. And then along the same lines of the lips is a product that I've sort of, I don't know, been inadvertently on the hunt for for a long time, but just haven't actually sat down and looked or ordered anything. And this one just kind of fell into my lap. So that's, I love that when that happens. <laughs> but this is a very clear lipstick but the purpose of this is hydration for your lips, but also SPF for your lips. So, you know, when you're out, when I'm out hiking in the mountains, I need to have um, SPF everywhere, including my lips, because we are at altitude, the sun's a lot stronger, more powerful. I'm out there for a couple hours at a time. So I'm just so happy that I finally found something that will 
not only moisturize my lips, but also protect them in the sun. And this has SPF 15 in it and just glides on. You could put it over your lipstick too, but I usually just wear it alone if I'm out exercising. So I'll put links to everything as I always do below with the sizing and the pricing and everything. Do let me know if you have any questions at all. You guys just comment and you know I'll get back to you uh, as quickly as I can. Just a quick mention that I have now broken 90,000 subscribers, which is just like mind blowing to me and so exciting. And I feel like as you kind of grow on YouTube, it, it, it sort of is exponential. Like the more you grow, the more you grow. I wanted to let you know that when I do hit that 100,000 mark, I'm definitely going to have some sort of big giveaway. I'm probably going to give away half my closet <laughs> because I appreciate you guys. Without you, this would not be possible. And I just want you to know that I value you. I treasure you. You're the reason that I work as hard as I do. And I am so grateful and thankful. So thank you all of you. Thanks again for watching. Do let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as well to get those quick style ideas at Busby Style there. Thank you again and I will see you next time. Bye!